Vice President Jagdeo blames everybody he can for all his evil actions. We carried a story in the Kaicho News saying, government playing hot potatoes with Exxon's audits. Jagdeo, the man who President Ali put in charge to manage the oil sector, saying, ask Vic. And when you ask Vic, Vic says, ask Jagdeo. That's the blame game. Jagdeo has been playing in this country with our assets, with our future, with your future ever since. When he's cornered and don't want to answer a question that will reveal his true identity or where he stands on certain issues, he sends you to his underlings, the ministers and other go government officials, so that they can look bad in the eyes of the public, and he comes out smelling like a fresh rose. That's the man. When the Kaicho News was banging on him about those US billion dollar audits, the audit reports on the oil projects, and no, his words gonna find himself in trouble or reveal who he really is. He said, ask Vikram Bharat. And when the reporter asked Vikram Bharat, Vikram said, ask VP. Jagdeo has always been like that since he was president. He always shifting his evil, dirty ways so that the shame falls on them poor government workers and officials. Six times I ask him publicly, when will this nation see the mining contracts for we gold, we diamond, we bauxite, we timber, the manganese and others. And when he couldn't take it no more, he sent me to GRA, and GGMC, knowing fully well that the heads of both agencies will not share that information without his permission. The same thing he did on this full liability insurance coverage from the parent companies. After constant banging in his ears on that, he shifted to the head of EPA, Mr. Parshram, to face the fire. Parshram, Stacia, Denison, Deodat, and Vikram Bharat must feel the shame and take the blame. Yes, me and you must cost them people for what he deliberately doing to this country. GPL blackouts, the Dirty Water GWI, the Skeldon White Elephant, the Never Done CJIA Airport, and every other thing that's falling apart in this country, he blames on other people. Nothing pins on him. Even when he give away our assets for next to nothing, he always finds a way to shield himself and try to cover his tracks. The Sonata Complex, he said you walk out of cabinet for them to make the decision. Because everybody know Bobby is his friend. So wasn't he. GPC landed in Bobby Han as soon as he become president. In the hands of Bobby for next to nothing too. And I guess wasn't he. The single largest private shareholder in the Barbies Bridge is Bobby. Again, wasn't Jack Davis fault. Almost all the drug contracts were given to Bobby over the years. Wasn't Jack Dale? Neither. It was the ministers. Lisa, one, two, three. Audits. 30 billion US dollars. He blames GRA, the Auditor General, for not checking. 
and tell us he was so disappointed that he couldn't find people to audit the bills. That's the man. That's the man, Jack Dio. Lisa Four, what he approved. Time will expire to verify that too. Let's wait and see who he will blame this time. He might run out of people to blame because the whole Guyana don't get blamed for his cunning and deceitful ways. This is the Jack Dio you are dealing with. Deliberately and willfully pussyfooting on everything that is destroying our future. Then blaming it, blaming it on others. Can this man ever be trusted? Please join me every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays on the Kite Show Radio. 99.1, 99.5 FM. And have a nice day.